The British government has learned that Saddam Hussein recently sought significant quantities of uranium from Africa. And in all of my years of public life, I have never obstructed justice. This is not a program where we're listening to phone calls inside the United States. What about other drugs? No. No. I never have. Never have and never will. Because people have got to know whether or not their president's a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. I did not have sexual relations with that one. This says $730,000 drug habit. This is a headline. Come on. How about you? Are you, posting, are you posting under phony names? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We're going told one blogger, lighten up and just stop hating on Newsom at all times. It appeared that Ragon was using aliases to make more aggressive comments. When a blogger posted fun pictures of Gavin, someone named John Nelson wrote from Ragon's home computer, this Rita chick is kind of weird with her angry infatuation with Gavin Newsom. Get over it, sister. He is a good mayor. Another posting on SFist from Ragon's home computer claimed, Dan Noyes attacks Gavin Newsom every day. So we wondered, could Peter Ragone be posting on our iTeam blog? There they were, under our investigation of the Yale Choir Assault. Two comments sent from Ragone's home computer this month under two different names. John Nelson wrote, KGO, what a joke. Dan Noyes is a sad, sad guy. Five days later, Bjorn wrote, Dan Noyes really is a sad, sad guy. You have to wonder how he keeps his job. Ragone recently posted an answer to this controversy on SFist. He says, John Nelson is my best friend, and yes, he does stay at my house all the time. Our sons are best friends also. I think we have the same viewpoints on most things. It smacks of kind of Nixonian, uh, you know, political trickery and, and, and just not leaving good taste really in anybody's mouth. How about you? Are, uh, you, post posting, are you posting under phony names? Absolutely not. Absolutely not.